This is Streamline News for Thursday, September 1st, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Jao Gomez won the men's hunter breast on the third day of finals at the Jose Finkel Trophy Meet in Rio de Janeiro with a 101.40, but it wasn't fast enough to become the second fastest in Brazil in the event and boost his odds of competing at the Olympics. Right now, the 10047 he swam in prelims is one one hundredth of a second slower than the time Felipe Lima swam in May, which has Lima on the tentative Olympic roster. Brazil is allowing swimmers up to five pre-selected meets this year and next to swim under the Olympic qualifying times. Gomez is not part of the Pan American Games squad, so he'll have to wait until the Brazil Open in December to take another shot at the Olympic team. And we have a full recap of today's swimming in Brazil at SwimmingWorld.com. Australian swimming just got a big boost in how athletes will be able to train down under. Earlier today in Sydney, Jeff Hugel, James Magnuson, and others based at the Olympic Park Pool tested out a new system designed to replicate the conditions of training at altitude. A plastic canopy will be placed over two 25-meter lanes at the Sydney Olympic Pool with the amount of air pumped into the tent reduced to the equivalent of being at 3,200 meters above sea level or 10,000 feet. That's higher than any pool in the United States where the Aussies usually come for altitude training. And as you can see in this photo here, it's a great opportunity and it's the first of its kind anywhere in the world. The new design won't give swimmers the same constant exposure to rarefied air that they get at altitude training since they will return to the sea level air outside the tent when they are done with their workout. Three coaches were just named to the USA Olympic swimming roster. Tim Murphy will be the open water head coach for both men and women. A small order, considering only a maximum of three swimmers will swim the 10K at the Olympics for the USA, depending on whether one or two females make the cut. Bob Bowman, no surprise, will be an assistant coach for the men's team. And Dave Salo will be an assistant coach for the women's team. Salo will likely have two female swimmers on the Olympic team, along with a few hopefuls on the men's side as well as several, several on teams from other countries. So, Salo will likely be one of the busiest coaches in London. And four new assistant coaches will be added after the Olympic trials next year. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.